there was a scale for shrinkage right now, uh, where would you be on that scale? Because I know where I'm at. I'm at the bottom. Your stuff's inverted? Yes. <laughs> It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Let's recap. We bought a ramp truck, right? We flew from Georgia to Cincinnati, hitched a ride to Indiana. Amazing machine. I'm in love with it. No matter what happens, I'm in love with this truck. Got about a little less than eight miles down the road, almost into Kentucky, when on a bridge, the motor shut off, leaving us no choice but to roll backwards down this bridge, two lane road, all the way backwards down it, and uh, nearly killed ourselves in oncoming traffic. Well, this isn't good. No, this is the this opposite of good. This is like worst case scenario. Oh, oh my gosh. You're not those people. Impeding traffic. We're on a bridge, broken. Turn to start, to start rolling your way backwards. You think? Yes. Just okay. Oh my god, that was close. Can I get over yet? I can't see. Put that down. Oh, Prius nearly rear-ended us. Prius nearly rear-ended us. Oh my god. Keep on going back. You're, you can start moseying over, but not. God, that was insane. Right, can you see the guardrail? Just, yeah. Get me the hell off this highway. Oh, I can't see. Okay. Whew. That's better. You ever rolled backwards down a bridge before? Mm, can't say that I have. Across the Ohio River on a Friday in a ramp truck. I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> That's better than getting a toe, right? Hell, we've made it this far. Let's just roll back into town. <laughs> God, we brought tools. All right, let's fix it. Yeah, just crank it up. It's fine now. That'd be funny if it was. This is what a roadkill shoot would be like. Hey Mike, when you get home, can you please send us that license plate? It belongs to a different vehicle. <laughs> sure, no problem. Just as soon as I get us off this bridge, we'll mail your license plate back. Get to the side of the road. Cops come and visit us. They're super cool. So we got about eight miles. Yeah, eight miles is how far we got. And then started climbing this hill over this bridge to cross the Ohio River to get from Indiana into Kentucky. No gas in the car bridge. Totally lost all fuel pressure. So we actually rolled backwards down the bridge, nearly ate a Prius, made it here to the shoulder, and then from out of nowhere, sheriffs everywhere, not to arrest us, just to make sure we were okay. We replaced the fuel pump. We have a couple of bad fittings. Nice gentleman who helped us buy this truck, Joe took off to go get those fittings he's been gone a while and we couldn't figure out why until we realized while we had our heads down and we were under the truck the police closed the highway no joke the entire highway below behind us has been closed so although we probably could be back on the road any moment now we're now waiting because you know Roadkill, I guess? Jesus. I'm on vacation. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Who does this happen to? Just us. Just us. As soon as we get two fittings and a piece of fuel line, we're back on the road. That just may be like four hours from now. Fuel pump's dead, we think. Because there's no fuel at the carb, and we had two brand new fuel filters, neither of which were clogged, so spend all day getting a fuel pump delivered here to us on the side of the road which was awesome put the fuel pump in had to build a new fuel line all this stuff high five each other let's go let's go find steak dinner go to fire the thing up 
Won't crank over. Battery's dead. Come on, baby. I guess four hours on the side of the road with the hazards flashing was too much for our battery, so here we are waiting for jumper cables. <laughs> I knew I should have turned the dang flashers off earlier because I thought about it. Those were the only things that saved us from getting run over by a Prius and half a dozen semis. I don't care at this point. I would have rather just be driving down the road with a damn dent in the back. <laughs> and whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> I still love the new ramp truck. Look at all. Look at all the space in these cabinets to put broken parts we've replaced on. This is sketchy. He's turning around wrong way. All right, all right, all right, he's making it, he's making it. Good, because we need his truck to jumpstart our battery. <laughs> Let's do this. It's gonna need a battery. Yeah, I, I don't think the jumper cables are gonna work. I think now we need a battery. I still love this truck. This is still a great day. I'm glad you do, because we're apparently going to be sleeping in it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's he doing? What are we doing? Oh boy. Plot thickens. It's cold. It's now pouring rain. Uh, the dude that sold us the truck seemed like a pretty nice guy. He's been pretty helpful today. Uh, brought us fuel line to fix our problem there. Got the fuel pump put in, fuel line put in, went to crank it, the battery dead. Took off to get jumper cables, not a battery. Came back with the world's smallest jumper cables I've ever seen. Thing still won't fire. And I, and I go, dude, it's an old battery. It's down to eight volts, as I checked. We really need a battery. And he goes, all right, man, give me some money. I'll go get a battery. And I'm like, I just bought this. I just, I just flew from Georgia to Cincinnati. You were supposed to meet me at the curb, except the truck broke down. Waited to fix the truck, dumped in it, got five miles, and here we are, broke down the side of the highway. You want me to pay for a battery for this thing? Wow. So, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be friends when this deal is over with. I still love the truck. Love the truck. But I can't believe that after I paid you full price, didn't haggle over it, that uh, you want the $80 for a battery at this point. We need some blankets. It's getting kind of cold. <laughs> <laughs> Got a fresh battery. Let's crank it. See if we fix the problem. I'm gonna grab that plate off the back there for her. Plate? Yeah. License plate. Oh, you want me to drive home with no license plate? I told you I'd mail it, dude. Don't do that to me. Seriously. I, I thought you said you were gonna come. It'd be easier to come get it. That was a joke because I was broke down on the side of the road with the truck I just brought from you. Holy sh! You cheap. Come on, baby. Okay, it's cranking really well, uh, but no fuel. So Newburn is now under the truck on the wet ground, trying to bypass the factory dual tank switching solenoid, because we're not sure that thing's functioning properly. We'll see if that fixes a problem. We still have rust in the tanks, that we know, but maybe the switcher is clogged up or something. So we're gonna bypass that and give that a shot. Uh, once again, while in the rain, sitting in the shoulder, just below the bridge we nearly died on today. How you doing, Dave? I'm soaking wet. <laughs> oh. 
I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. My underwear is wet. My shoes are wet. My socks are wet. Both of my jackets are wet. Everything is wet. It's like, what, 30 degrees? Uh, the fuel pump didn't fix it. The battery didn't fix it. Our tanks are rusted out. Fuel lines are clogged. Our, uh, yeah, and, uh, our, you know, our, on the bright side, uh, we got a winch. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god, it's cold. So now, the people that sold us this truck, they're headed back to another place. I think Tractor Supply to buy a boat gas tank, an electric fuel pump, 25 feet of hose, and some primary wire so we can wire up a makeshift fuel system and get the truck running. But then, we're soaking wet, we need a hotel and a place to dry our clothes, there's no way we're making it home tonight. And I have a really bad feeling that, uh, we're not getting any money back on the purchase of this truck, even though there's quite a few things wrong with it, and we're stuck here. Are your pants leaking water on the floor? Yes. <laughs> Are you working on the winch to keep warm? Is that what's happening right now? Nope, I'm just getting prepared. As soon as that fuel pump gets here, I'm hooking that baby up. Yeah. I need a warm bath. Dude. <laughs> It's so freaking cold. Uh, I think my nuts froze together. I think they're stuck. Best so at work ever. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I said? It won't always be this fun, dude. We won't always be flying to Cincinnati to buy ramp trucks. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> It runs again. I still love it. Are you as frozen as I am? Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get any money back from this deal, but uh, maybe they'll at least follow us to the hotel. Woo! Runs good. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna rock paper scissors for when it arrives. Who has to put on their wet shoes and walk down to the lobby to get they'll it? They'll bring it to the room. Will they? Some places. Uh, I, when Arizona I'm out of town, I always order pizza to the room. A whole one? Just for you? I mean, I'm not judging. I'm no. just asking. <laughs> <laughs> my God, what do you think? I'm a pig? <laughs> Savage, maybe. I'm not a pig. Alright, we made it. See you guys tomorrow. We did it! All right. Just in case. Time to hit the road. I think we may have finally fixed our fueling issues. Bypassed the fuel filter, bypassed all the rusty gas tanks. Got a really sweet 3 8 inch fuel injection rated hose going back to a boat gas tank. Ratchet strapped to the floor with the smallest Holly fuel pump we could get wired to our winch and we just pull the fuse whenever we stop. That's our on and off switch. That's going to get us back to Georgia, no doubt. And we didn't have anything to drill a hole with. So we're going right through where the filler nozzle would normally be and just taping the hose down. That seems safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what kind of mileage are we going to get? I'm going to guess uh, probably nine. Nine? Eight or, eight or nine. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> Six, uh, maybe. Really? This is a big brick going through the wind. I don't care what that piece of Lexan on top of the roof of the square body says. It's got overdrive, right? I don't know. We need to look at that. We need to figure that out. Overdrive, I'm gonna say eight. If it doesn't, I'm gonna say six. I'm saying six no matter what. So let's get on the road and find out if we have overdrive. Let's go. a lot like yesterday. We're at the airport in Cincinnati. This is just where the motel was last night. Let's see. Um, recap again. 
flew to Cincinnati. Supposed to meet people here at a curb selling a mint condition ramp truck that was not so mint. It was actually broke down when we arrived, some sort of fuel delivery issue. When we met up with them at an auto parts store, it was allegedly fixed. We test drove it around town, but not on the freeway and seemed okay. Moment we got on the freeway, motor shut off, carb was dried, no fuel going to the motor. We changed fuel filters, fuel pump. Ultimately, we decided both gas tanks in our mint condition truck rusted out, pickups clogged, something. And we had no floor jack, no way to get this thing up off the ground on the side of the highway and drop the tanks to try to repair it. And ultimately had to get a battery, had to get a boat gas tank and an electric fuel pump, which is now in the cargo area. And that is supplying our 454. And from this day forward, we will not speak of the people that sold us this truck. In fact, their name will no longer be on the side of this truck because our faith in humanity destroyed by these folks. Not only did they not apologize for the fact that they sold us a truck that was broke, they didn't even care. I asked them, hey, please just follow me to the hotel and make sure we get there. They actually ditched us. They didn't go, hey, we're sorry, here's a few bucks to, you know, take care of those gas tanks that had to be replaced. Nah, they didn't do that. They didn't make sure we arrived at the hotel. Okay. Nah, they didn't do that. They ditched us. They took off. Now, let's move on and have some fun. <laughs> How do I get out of the airport? Oh, and right now we're going to figure out whether we have overdrive. All right. So. And if the fuel starvation issue is fixed. Yes. Okay, so we're in first. Second. man are you ready Hold on. to feel the luxury I am are you ready to enjoy the sublime just amazingness of non-turning radius door yes. seals door seals that actually seal like a cab that doesn't like rattle and shake and vibrate like you mean when I close the door the window crank will come off hit me in the knee right oh like the other round truck yeah right. none of that oh wow none of that um, but yeah, it is the turning radius of three school buses. Okay. Wow. Look at that CK crew cab dually right there. Ooh. Did you just run us out of gas? Maybe. <laughs> I swear I thought it would go. I We're see, almost there. I see, I'm, I'm rolling. I see blue. Yeah, ha are the hazards on? They are now. <laughs> Please get over, semi. <laughs> Please get over. All right, he's getting over. We're, if we can just top this hill right here. We're good. Oh God! Look, come on, baby. Come on. I come hope on, this baby. is. I hope this is one of those good off ramps look, where the gas look. station is come on the baby. off ramp. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the road because there's semi coming up behind me. Oh no, the vibration part. That, that slows it. us down. Right. That slows on. us down. Hold on, hold on. We're good. We're going downhill. I got it. Whatever you do, do not touch the brake pedal. No brakes. No brakes. I don't care if a kid on a bicycle jumps out in front of you. Oh, oh, I'm trying to get some food. Sa save the moment, save that for when we get to the top of the hill and we're totally screwed. Come on. The gas station's right here. It is, but can we get up the hill, around the corner, and to the pump? Remember, the filler necks are on the right side. Lean forward. You can do it. There we go. There we go. All right. Turn right and right. You got this. Just cut them off. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're so close. Come on. Come on. 
It's right there. <laughs> Gently. Oh. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Hell yeah, we can't be stopped. <sighs> oh my gosh. You think the starter motor's unhappy now? Ah, uh, be all right. We started it like 27 times. <laughs> oh. All right. We made it. So we only went 55 miles on, how big is this tank? That looks like, that, that looks, That's oh wow. 14 divided by 50 is not good. <laughs> I don't think that's right. It is bulk dry. Like, I mean, there's nothing in here. Well, at least we know our pickup works yeah. really well. I did it while I was inside the can of the Flying J. I, I made the post. <laughs> we are gonna meet people in London, Kentucky today and buy their cassette tapes, if they have good ones. I really hope people are just raiding their parents' attics and basements right yeah. now. God, What's the, what are these things? What do these do? And I really hope when we stick a tape deck in there, it doesn't just spit it back out with tape everywhere. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be right if it didn't. That would be strange. I remember like when I was younger, VHS tapes, it, it, it would do that and I'd pull them out and I'd have to like wind it back up with my finger. <laughs> yup. I remember my first tape deck, it was a pullout, Kenwood, and then uh, car stairs were getting stolen a lot. Then I had another tape deck, I don't know what brand it was, but it had a little module that plugged in the front of it that had a little flag that you plug in. Like, you put the module in, the thing would work. When you park, you take the little module out, and you plug in this little flag that dangled down that said, radio not oper operable. So oh, wow. hopefully thieves would look in through the window and go, I don't want that one. <laughs> that is some old school stuff. Cassettes, man, those are fun. Yeah. I'm excited about cassettes. Because you're not getting new music on cassettes. Like, I can get new music every day on the internet. Show me the old stuff I've never heard before. Right. Bands from the 70s and 80s that I may have never listened to in my life. This is, is there, like going on treasure hunt right now. And there's no skipping. We just gotta, if we wanna go to the next song, we're gonna have to fast forward it and then hit play. Nope, still playing. Fast forward, <laughs> hit play. You may not even want to brave doing that. I know. Like, I think if you shove it in there and it works, much like sex, just leave it in there. Yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> just let it do it. Just, just let it go. <laughs> If it spits it out, try another one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's making the episode. <laughs> six miles away from our lunch destination and all of a sudden the whole truck started shaking and it's not the road it's at every speed every lane I don't know tire or drive shaft something's something's unhappy picked up a gnarly stairwell what everything was this thing drives really smooth so it's kind of you can see yeah this is not normal normally well What's been normal for the last few hours has been a very smooth ride. So we're gonna pull over and find out what's going on. It looks like we're broke down. That's because we kind of are broke down. Except this time it's not the engine or the fuel system, it's the tires. We have date coded tires from the late 90s, if you can believe that. And the left rear inner is coming apart right now. <laughs> Look at that tire, dude. <laughs> that was the problem. It's a little misshapen. Yep, that could have killed us. Or that. Or you. All those things could have killed us. We're hanging out here at a good year in Richmond, Kentucky. 
And we're gonna get six tires put on our mint condition, 80% tread, yeah. drive it cross country truck. Ready to go. Ready to go. That's what they said. Yeah. So now we're in the bed of some random guy's truck, leaving the Goodyear where we left our truck. We're in Kentucky. Apparently, this is legal. <laughs> we're on our way to Hooters for lunch. My Ram truck. <laughs> uh, I feel like we've earned Hooters. Yeah. Chicken wings and a decent view. Liquor world. Hooters. Yay! Right next to a Waffle House. It's perfect. More randomness. <laughs> so we're getting a ride from Hooters. Oh, <laughs> back to the tire shop. And uh, we have cassettes. This is the first of, I think, what will be many cassettes that we're going to attempt to use in the Ram truck. And, and I've, what's your name again? Uh, Houston Noble. Houston Noble is dialing us in with stuff like Metallica, the Black Album, Warren G. Hell yeah. Your Basic Country, which is a compilation cassette of uh, George Strait, which I don't need to say anything more. George, George Strait. Hell yeah. Immature. <laughs> My wife will love that. I'm going to listen to it for her. And uh, Cypress Hill, Black Sunday. Awesome album or cassette. And uh, so yeah, we're, we're headed back to the tire shop now. And um, you have an, an interesting job. Tell us what it is, because I didn't even know this job existed. Uh, so I work for uh, the railroad. I work for uh, Norfolk Southern and uh, I'm on a uh, DPG maintenance gang. So we go around and we replace the ties that the uh, tracks sit on and uh, make it safe for the trains to travel. So he picked us up in a Kia something or other, some sort of sedan. This is his company car. He drives to various places and then the machine is there already. He hops in, it runs the machine, spikes the railroad ties, jumps in his Kia and mobs on to the next destination. That's pretty awesome, dude. I didn't even know that job existed. So breaking down, not always a bad thing. Got a little ways. Don Todd, P.O. Box, Memphis, Tennessee. What do we got here? Hymns of Hope by it's, Don Todd. It's Hell so, yeah. It's so you can pray that you get there. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. We could have used this yesterday when we traveled exactly 11 miles yesterday. Yeah. Dude. All day. Let's add this to the collection. Wow, sure this is awesome. What do you got? <laughs> this one's special. It's special? Well, let, me was, let me shake your hand first. Uh, All right. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> this is certified gold. That was my dad's he used to keep in his... Uh, charger when he uh, lived in louisville no way and john then, cougar but without the melon camp yeah diva whip it the police yeah. damn <laughs> this is awesome dude holy cow you sure you want to give me your dad's tape yeah dude, you, you if anybody thank you dad doesn't know that's a good I point daddy doesn't know this right here is exactly why i did this right <laughs> I don't know any of these bands at all. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. The helicopters, the quadrajets, the high fives. Oh, yeah, you love that. that oh, oh, the Donnas I know. We broke down on the way to meeting a bunch of Roadkill fans who were all bringing us cassette tapes so that we could try out the tape deck in the new ramp truck. And we don't know if it works, but we're going to try it right now. Those are good. They're a bit rocky. <laughs> okay, it's in there. Dude. It works! Yeah! It works! Oh my god! That's my music too. Wow! We have a tape deck for the rest of this road trip that's probably going to take four days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need more tapes. <laughs> okay, the eject button works. Let's do another one. White Snake. Let's do White Snake. This is for my mama. First concert I ever went to in my life. My mom, my mom took me to a White Snake show because my dad wouldn't go. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have all we need now are tires, I think, and we can keep going.
we just crossed the state line into Tennessee. Truck is running awesome. A little worried about the MPGs because we've been climbing some hills here. So we're pulling over after just 40 miles of traveling to see how many of our 12 available gallons we burnt. Ooh, there's a BP fuel station. Never been to one of those. You think they have race fuel at the pump? They sell fireworks. I love the South. You can buy fireworks at a place that sells combustible liquid. How many miles uh, did we go? 43 or 45, I think. 44 miles. We might be getting almost seven miles to the gallon. How many gas stops is this, you think? <laughs> three today? One yesterday? Mm, at least three today. Uh, mm. It's going to be... I know the math said it would take seven or eight to get home. Oops. Traveling 40 miles per, per tank. This has got to be number four or five. We'll check the receipts. But the important thing is, she's running like a champ. Do you feel safe? In here I do. <laughs> She's flipping out. What is she flipping out over? She's yelling at that guy in the truck. We got a blue hair and a pink coat flipping out on a guy in a Dodge. She just punched his truck. It's a shaky video because I'm all zoomed in. Tell everyone what we're doing right now. What are we doing right now? We're ending this video right now. This is our last gas stop. We are back in Georgia. Almost total success, except yeah. for the six new tires we had to buy, the completely new fuel system. Uh, what else? I don't know. This is the greatest truck ever. It's really, I'm gonna turn this around. It is like brand new. It doesn't squeak, it doesn't rattle. There's no wind noise, the tape deck works. It's incredible. It is my new favorite truck. Yeah. How do you feel? It's like we went back to 1989 and bought a brand new race car hauler. I mean, this thing is so mint. There's not a scratch on this truck. It runs and drives so smooth. I have a 2001 Silverado. I wish it drove this good. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, it's. I cannot wait to put the 55 in here and go racing. Oh, dude, it needs... It's going to hold all our stuff in the cabinets. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, extra parts, tools. Um, it's it's rad, man. I love it. It needs very little. It needs overdrive. We, we were doing 80 miles an hour on the highway with no tack, burning a little bit of oil, and the motor was screaming. Um, it needs backup camera for sure, because it's like driving the Titanic. Uh, some sort of console for at the top of our bench seat for our new cassette collection. My, and, parents, uh, my parents may have something. I'll have to look. Burgundy? It's got a match. It's, it's probably black. <laughs> they may have burgundy, but it's probably black. We can probably paint it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, not much else. Even the stereo system doesn't sound that bad. Turns out you don't need a lot of horsepower in your stereo when the windows are up and the door seals actually seal. Yeah. No exhaust. I mean, it's just quiet as can be in the cab. It's weird. Yeah. I'm yeah. not used to this. I mean... I love it. You'll see more of this truck on this channel. Uh, welcome Dave here, because he's going to be here from now on. Yeah. Employee yeah. number two at Finnegan Speed and Rain. <laughs> <laughs> We're a large group of two now. <laughs> We're expanding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it what does. Is, like, what is this thing? <laughs> what is this nonsense right here?
All right. Oh, this uh, is the the the. Uh, that's for the winch. Yeah. That's the circuit breaker for the winch. Yep. 